Hello my friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here today to do a post review of Sarah from Die Moon Shop. This is in the 30 by 38 size and this is um, the third piece of four that I was doing from Die Moon Shop in a bit of a an experiment or challenge to kind of see what the smallest images offered by Die Moon Shop look like. If they're worth the price. Um, if you're unfamiliar, Die Moon Shop is a diamond painting company that is a little bit more pricey. However, they have some of the most amazing artists um, legally licensed to them. And so it can be kind of hard to find, uh, it, you can't find some of this artwork anywhere else. And so the price can be a little bit of a barrier if you're willing to pay for that piece. One of the options that would make it more affordable would be to get these paintings in the smallest size available. Um, Die Moon Shop does give you the option um, of usually about three different sizes. Some of the paintings have more sizes um, that you can choose from. And obviously the price just goes up as the, the larger size um, goes up. And um, you can also pick the image in round or squares. So this one I did do in rounds. I did get the special treatments for about 350 and this painting um, cost me $38. So I have to say, um, non-spoiler alert, out of the four that I've gotten, this one is probably my favorite that I have done. Um, I have not finished the fourth one though, so that could still be a contender. This one I feel like rendered so beautifully for 30 by 38. Um, she is just gorgeous. If you didn't know, this is Sarah. It's from the movie Labyrinth. I've never seen it, but I just thought this was such a pretty picture. And um, I think we all like pictures that kind of look like ourselves. And I'm not saying that I look like Jennifer Connelly in any <laughs> extreme, but um, I just don't see a lot of dark haired girls with blue eyes. And I am a dark haired girl with blue eyes all naturally. And so that's just not something that you see very often in artwork. <laughs> when I was little, I, I thought my eyes were the wrong color. Like I used to be like, why aren't my eyes brown? But you know, as I'm older, I realized like, obviously there's a better color combination. There's different color combinations, you know, and, um, but it's neat to see, um, a fellow dark haired, blue eyed painting. <laughs> that makes any sense. Uh, that has nothing to do with the review. Um, but I just have to say that, yeah, I, I am just overall was extremely happy with this. I think, um, squares would be $10 more and you would get more clarity, but I am happy with the clarity that I got in the rounds. Um, I feel like you can see the image. This is probably just a foot and a half of the camera is up. You can get a pretty good view of the, of the painting and you can tell what it is for this size. This is a piece by Margaret Morales and her artwork is just fabulous. So without further ado though, I will show you the original painting. So this is actually a postcard from Margaret Morales's shop that she has. Um, yeah, it's margaretmorales.com. Is that gonna focus? Okay. So this is the painting that they rendered. And honestly, for a 30 by 40 equivalent, I think it is great. Um, I do, I do have this piece in the largest size, so I will be doing that for a comparison. Um, so, um, look forward to that and I will definitely compare the two with the smallest and the largest size, but just in speaking of the smallest size, like I said, I'm really happy with this one. Um, I do have to say that the stickiness of this canvas was great. I didn't have any issues. The symbols were great. I didn't have any issues. Um, the sim, yeah, the simple clarity, um, I have a lot of drills left over 
if you can tell. And um, unfortunately, I don't have much of a trash stash. I guess you could say in these containers, I really like to use them because I can assign one. These are all out of order, by the way. I can assign one my trash. And so I actually just assigned this one as the trash drills. Now that is actually not a real um, amount of the trash. Obviously there was enough drills, so it wasn't a big worry. And I didn't really feel like these were overly trashy drills in any extreme. So um, I wouldn't worry about that. Unfortunately though, um, this happened in the middle of painting. And that was thanks to my little James. He dumped out a whole bunch of colors. And thankfully though, these were about, I think there's five colors in here that he dumped onto a seat. And so I could easily just scrape them all into this lovely Bella Art de Nicole triple tray in the emerald green, I have to say. And um, thankfully there are different colors enough that I could figure out which one was which. Easy enough, right? <laughs> so um, that's why I just have to say, as far as the trash goes, that got dumped out as well. So there's probably some trash in there, but you know, it, it was fine. So um, the one thing I do have to say about this particular painting though, that is a little bit of, I didn't like so much, is her ears. And I don't know why ears are so difficult to render, but they seem to be, I think, across companies. When you look at this image from far away, yes, her ear does look red. Um, but when you look at this painting, her ear looks bloody. You know, that, that red, that red is fine in her lips and even it'd be fine. It's a little extreme in the eyeshadow considering this is just kind of a very nice, nice light eyeshadow look. And um, so I am thinking of just picking out this red, these random red dots in the painting and replacing them with more mute tones. So I'm actually going to do that now and show you what I think would be even better for this. Well, my friends, I don't know if I made it any better, but at least her ear doesn't look bloody anymore. All I have to say is I am not very good at shading at anything at all of doing skin color. So that's why I'm always a little bit nervous for redoing skin, but here you go. Um, I did take out some of the random red points that were just around her skin and I just kind of blended them in and, um, yeah, I think I'm going to spend a little bit more time on that ear and I'll post a photo when I'm done. But um, if I, I just have to say um, in, in my opinion, this is absolutely worth the price. I think you have to look at the fact that they legally license um, Margaret Morales's artwork. And um, I do think that the rendering turned out really well for this size. Um, so if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, I will be showing you guys Lavender Witch soon, as soon as I finish it. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.